Making salmon burgers is really very simple. It's not that different than making a normal burger if you've had experience in doing that in the past. You're really just relying on the protein of the meat to just bind everything together and adding some other ingredients and going ahead and forming your burgers and cooking them. And that's really what we're going to do today. The difference with salmon is if you process it too much or the entire fish, it can be dry at the end and that's not good. So I'm going to show a different method of making a salmon burger that keeps it nice and moist and makes you really happy and you can feel free to grill it, cook it in the oven, cook it on the frying pan, different ways to, to do that. So we're just going to have uh, our salmon here. It's not a lot. It's helpful to start when they're uh, cubed up a little bit like this. They don't have to be exact. Just anything like this, roughly chopped is good. We have a little bit of Dijon mustard. We have some onions, some capers, a little bit of parsley, and we may use some breadcrumbs at the end. And that's really about all we need to do. Great, just to get started in the process, we're gonna take our salmon, we're gonna use about a quarter of it, and we're gonna drop that in to your food processor. Get a little bit of mustard in there. That helps with the moisture, getting everything moved around. That's the beginning part of the seasoning as well. You don't need to use it a ton. And we go ahead and process this and get it into a pasty form. You know you've really got to the right consistency when the, when the salmon starts balling up a little bit. And then that's perfect. That's really what we're trying to go for here. Just a nice, smooth salmon paste. The rest of the ingredients are just going to simply go in at this point. We're going to drop our onions in, our capers, a little bit of parsley. No need to chop it up any. The, the food processor will do that for you. And we just give this a, a quick whirl before we add the rest of the salmon to it. Great, you don't want to make that too fine at this point. We want to keep it a little bit on the chunky side. Don't forget the season at this point. So we're just going to drop a little bit of salt in. Maybe a little bit of pepper will help. Get the rest of your salmon into the food processor. I like giving it a little bit of Tabasco sauce. Maybe a little bit more. Great. And now we're just going to pulse this. We don't want to make it pasty again. We want to keep some of the salmon chunky. Right, that's just about what we're looking for there. We don't want to over-process the salmon at this point, otherwise when you cook it, it's just going to get dry again. So, we're going to go ahead and get all of this now into a bowl. And you can see we've got a nice consistency here with some salmon chunks still in the, in the, in the meat or in the, the process here. That's really important. That keeps the moisture when everything is cooking. That's it, really. That's what we're looking for. If you want, you can firm this up a little bit by just adding a little bit of breadcrumbs to it. By adding the breadcrumbs, if you overdo it, it's going to make it dry. It may feel a little wet to you, but that will firm up when you cook it. So I just get stuck in here with my hands and just really kind of work it a bit. No need to overwork it. Just move it around. And there we go. And we're ready to, to start making our burgers. When you have everything prepared and ready to make the burgers, it's a good idea just to have a little bowl of water on hand. Just to wait, moisten your hands a little bit, keep everything from sticking. Get a plate. Get a plate. Get it out. Get ready to form your burgers, and that's really all we want to try to do. Now, I don't, I don't waste a lot of time trying to make these all about the same, but really what I'm trying to do is get a, get a ball about that big. You can, of course, make them as uh, any size you would like, and just flatten them out a little bit. They don't need to be too flat. Great, we've got our burgers made now, now we're ready to start cooking them. At this point, you have a choice. I'm going to 
go ahead and cook them on the stove top, but if you wanted to bake them, just pop them on a baking sheet, a little bit of paper, throw them in a 140 degree oven, and cook them maybe 10, 12 minutes or so. That's all they'll need. On the stove top, the real key here is not using a lot of oil. So let me just show you a trick I like to use. So I get a normal baking paper, really. I get it on here. I want to make sure I get my pan warmed up so that it's, it's warm. It doesn't have to be real, real hot. I'm going about medium heat here. Let's get that going, get that nice and warm. Now with the oil, we're just going to give the salmon burgers a light coating of oil. And I just use a little brush here just to brush it on, on both sides. And that's really all the fat that we're going to need to cook these burgers. I think this is a real good, useful way of reducing the, the fat that might be involved in cooking on a high heat and keeps them nice and moist at the same time. Right, that's all we really need to do. You get your paper out. Once your pan is hot enough, we're just going to pop them right onto the paper. Probably just work with about three at a time here. We're just going to go ahead and lift this paper right into the hot pan. No need to put anything else into the pan. Just maybe scrunch them down just a little bit so that they cook nice and evenly. Once they're in the pan, they're going to take mm, four or five minutes is all they're going to take over medium heat. Just make sure about halfway through you're going to turn them over. Salmon burgers have cooked maybe two, three minutes and what you're looking for here is they're just starting to turn a different color on, on the sides here, a little bit more pale, and that's your cue to just flip them over. And so we're just going to pop them back over. There's no need at this point to give them any more oil, and in, in this case I'm just using some olive oil here. They have plenty. And you can see they've taken on a little bit of color here, which just looks really lovely. And there you go. They're only going to need about another two, three minutes. We're going to cook them to about medium rare. You do have options of going rare, medium rare, well done, or something like that, but just as long as you keep them medium rare, they're going to be fine. We've got them cooking now on the other side just for a couple of minutes, and I think they're just about ready at this point. You can just see right here how they starting to ooze out this little white bit. That's your cue. They're all done. So what we want to do is make sure we get these right off and go ahead and enjoy them right away. You can just lift that paper right off. Makes it nice and easy. Makes cleanup nice and easy also. And we just get our burgers right on here. Now I think there's really only one way to enjoy these salmon burgers and that's medium rare. There's really no other option involved. You want to keep them nice and moist. Let me just get them on a plate here. You can serve them any way you want. Pop them on a bun with your favorite condiment. I personally, I like serving them with a, uh, with a chutney. We made a little bit of a mango chutney earlier. I like that sort of exotic flavor. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Pop a little bit on the plate here. Great. And there you go. That just looks lovely. We have our salmon burgers. We have a little bit of mango chutney. And all we need to do now is just go ahead and simply enjoy them. And I just like to bite right into them. Get a little chutney on here. Just really get stuck right in, actually. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. The burgers stay nice and moist. The mango comes through really nicely. It's just a beautiful dish. It only takes a few minutes to prepare.